Hey there, and welcome back to Reading Rule Y'all. This week's episode is the fourth video in our series on Kekla Magoon's Season of Six Malone. And in this video, I'm going to be talking a little bit about how I might go about teaching this book. First, I'm going to start off with some rapid fire ideas because I, as I was reading this, I just had a lot of fun things um, pop into my head about what I might do in teaching this book. So here they are. One, there's been a recent increase in folks talking about sundown towns, and I feel like there are a lot of connections there, especially thinking about like um, small insular spaces being welcoming or unwelcoming of black folks. Uh, there are some really great supplemental texts in a book called Appalachian Reckoning. Um, there are a lot of pieces in there by black Appalachians. So uh, those would make some really good connections to this text and about like what being black in a small town means or um, what being black in a rural place means. It would also be fun to ask students to consider their own rural places and schools and how they do or don't make people of color feel welcome or unwelcome in those spaces. I feel like there's have to be a lot of scaffolding around that and structuring a community, a classroom community in which those kinds of questions could be discussed, but I think it'd be worth it. So that's one thing you could consider. Um, another thing that I thought about was, um, asking students as they read to consider how um, or whether or not they do connect to the Franklin boys and um, Stick's experiences in the book. Um, so anyway, those were some things that came to mind in the beginning as I started thinking about what I would do to teach this. So then as I thought more about the way this text fits within the greater landscape of the publishing industry and its current focus on urban black experiences, I started building in a more concrete way or a more detailed way what I would do in my head. And so I decided to share that with you here. So I'm a huge proponent of book clubs, especially as described by Randy Bomer in Building Adolescent Literacy in Today's English Classrooms, which is an amazing resource if you aren't aware or acquainted with it. I'll put a link to it in the description below. So what I would do with both secondary students and pre-service teachers would be to curate a list of books, including the season of Six Malone, that depict the experiences of both rural and urban black folks. Um, but I would arrange students by their top three choices, you know, have them rank their books and then put them into books according to um, affinity, like the books that they wanted to read, uh, making sure that both rural and urban perspectives are equally covered. So you can pull other books, um, other rural books that feature black experiences from my list on literacyinplace.com and then urban books featuring black experiences are, are pretty easy to find. So I have no doubt that you'll be able to find them. Um, but then each rural group would have an urban partner group. So each rural book would have a, an urban partner text um, that the groups would work with um, during part of their book club time to discuss the representation of black experiences across those places, across the rural and urban places. I might include a slide of starter questions to help them when they're stuck or some, or include some quick writing time to allow them to collect their thoughts before they get into their clubs, depending on how familiar or experienced they are with this learning format. Some questions might include some of the questions I talked about in the beginning, you know, like, how do you relate to the characters in the place of this book? How do you, how do you relate or do you not relate to their experiences? How do you feel seen or not feel seen in your reading of it? Do you feel like they're authentic representations of lives that exist in those places what are the experiences what like what's the impact of the intersectionality of place and race is class a factor I mean there are so many questions that you can ask students to think about as they're reading in general though the clubs would serve to offer students an opportunity to explore and think with one another about the similarities and differences of experiences because of how place shapes those and also provide space for students to think about the essentializing that can happen in the creation of the urban or and rural binary and how that shapes folks interactions with one another for example i imagine that as students are reading and talking across their books they're going to find similarities in the experiences of 
of urban black folks and rural black folks. And so then what does that mean about how we create the binary that exists between urban and rural? What does that mean for how we see our own experiences? What does that mean for how we read the text? I mean, there's so many deep, good conversations that can come from an activity like this. So as brief as this outline is, that's what I would do. If you're wanting to plan something like this and want to talk more about it or think through it with someone, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. And with that, we end our series on Kekla Magoon's award-winning text. Thanks for being here. Join me next time as we begin another four-part series on rural voices and anthology of diverse rural experiences with a surprise coming with that series. Um, so stay tuned and um, y'all come on back now, would you?